Hey guys, welcome to Gadgets 360 and this is it. We have the iPhone 12 Pro and we're going to unbox this for you right now to see what you get in the box and more importantly, what you don't get in the box. Uh, Apple has also sent along a couple of accessories. So there is a MagSafe silicon case and we also have the MagSafe charger, which we will take a quick look at a little later. But first, let's get to the pricing because I think that's the most important thing, right? How much is the iPhone 12 Pro going to cost you if you're going to buy it in India? And this time, like most other times, uh, it is going to be quite a bit. So the iPhone 12 Pro starts at 1,20,000 rupees and that's just for the 128 GB model. Then you have uh, the next one, which is 256 GB of storage. That's going to cost you about 1,30,000. And if you spring for the top end uh, version, which is the 512 gig model, which I have here, this is going to cost you a whopping 1,50,000 rupees. Now, that's a crazy amount. I mean, I know iPhones have generally been quite expensive in India, but this is the kind of money most people put in as a down payment if they're renting a flat in Mumbai. So, of course, that's a whole other discussion. I'm not going to get into that about the pricing, but yeah, uh, be prepared to pay quite a bit for the iPhone 12 Pros in India. So now that we have that out of the way, let's quickly dive into the unboxing itself. Now, first off, I'm going to unbox the 12 Pro. So let me just put these aside for now. Take this out. Okay, so as you can see, the box is quite a bit slimmer because, of course, there are fewer accessories in the box this time. Um, this one is the Pacific Blue version that I have. And like I mentioned, this is the 512 gig model. So let's take it out. There we have it. And there we go. Let's quickly peel this off. Okay, so this is the 512 gig model of the iPhone 12 Pro. It looks pretty nice. It's actually a lot more comfortable than I expected it to be, but we will get into the whole design part of it in a bit. Uh, also in the box, again, we have smaller documentation this time, of course, to fit the whole smaller size of the box. We just have a single Apple logo sticker over here. We have some regulatory information and of course a SIM eject tool and the only accessory that actually comes uh, in the box is this Type-C to Lightning adapter. So Apple wants you to reuse your existing power adapter so they're only shipping a cable this time uh, not even ear pods and that's pretty much it. So let's quickly put this aside for now and maybe let's quickly take a look at the silicon case. Uh, so this is the MagSafe case which supports uh, wireless charging. And uh, let's quickly open this up. Okay, so this is the matte black MagSafe compatible silicon case. Uh, as you can see, it's got this little ring here to show you it's MagSafe compatible. And uh, this snaps on just like this. So this is basically what it looks like. Pretty snug fit. Now these MagSafe cases are gonna cost you about 5,000 rupees a pop. So this was the MagSafe case. And finally, let's quickly take a look at the MagSafe charger itself. So the MagSafe charger is going to be about 4,500 rupees and of course you need to buy it separately. So this is an optional accessory. And in the box, this kit designed by Apple California. Pretty intricate packaging here. Okay, so this is the MagSafe wireless charger. It's basically got magnets around. It's still a Qi wireless charger, but I think Apple has their own fast charging, fast wireless charging standard. So third-party accessories will also have to be MagSafe compatible 
for it to be uh, able to fast charge your iPhone 12s. Uh, and the other end is just a Type-C cable. So the MagSafe charger, basically even the iPhone 12 series has magnets built around the wireless charging coil. So the idea behind MagSafe is that you just, uh, you know, plonk it on there and it should automatically align itself and give you the most uh, efficient charging or the most uh, you know, effective wireless charging. Uh, again, we'll take a closer look at this uh, in a bit as well. Now the iPhone 12 Pro obviously has a bunch of new features this year, but I think the main ones are definitely the design. Uh, you have the display, you have the processor, and of course, then you have the cameras. So let's take a closer look at these four aspects of the 12 Pro. Okay, let's begin with the design. And first and foremost, the moment you pick it up, you will see that these, uh, the iPhone 12 Pro has this new flattened sides. Now, I'll be very honest with you, when Apple first announced, showed off the design during the launch event, I wasn't too thrilled about it. But uh, after actually holding it and using it for just a few minutes, it's actually not that bad. Uh, I was afraid that the edges might be a little too sharp uh, to handle, but it's actually not. It is slightly rounded, uh, so you don't really feel uh, the sharpness at all, actually. Other than that, it's a bit slimmer than the iPhone 11 Pro, but weighs about the same at 187 grams. You also get brand new colors, and the one I have is called Pacific Blue. Now, I like the color blue, and I think this shade that uh, Apple uses on the 12 Pro looks very, very neat. You have a frosted glass back, uh, which blends with this uh, glossy, also glass module for the cameras. You have these three exposed lenses and an extra fourth lens, which we will get to in just a bit. There is a surgical stainless steel frame on the side, uh, which is again glossy and picks up fingerprints like crazy. So that is, you probably would need to get a case for this. Uh, there's a power button here, you have the volume button here, you have the uh, little toggle for uh, silent and ringing modes and uh, you get a speaker at the bottom, still a lightning port, no Type-C yet, but that's okay. And of course you have the second speaker on the top over here, so you do get stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos as well is supported. Now, just like the 11 Pro, uh, the 12 Pro is also IP68 rated for dust and water resistance. Uh, there you get wireless charging with this new MagSafe wireless charging, which again, we will talk about in just a bit. That's the MagSafe charger right there. And the battery life is uh, actually, according to Apple, an hour less compared to the 11 Pro. So, because I'm guessing this has 5G, uh, and of course, it's a slimmer size as well. The battery life is now 17 hours for video playback compared to 18 hours uh, on the 11 Pro. But again, this is theoretical. Uh, I'll have to test this out in the real world and see how, how it actually performs. Now, the second big thing, of course, is the display. Uh, it is slightly larger than the iPhone 11 Pro. This is a 6.1 inch uh, display. As you can see, relatively slim bezels all around. This is an OLED panel, of course, and we still have that gigantic notch for uh, the biometric authentication because you have a whole bunch of sensors over there as well which is fine i guess most people have gotten used to this big notch right now so i don't think that's going to be a big issue and the one new thing apple has added for the display is a new glass uh, apple calls it ceramic shield and according to them it's supposed to offer up to four times uh, the drop shatter protection so it should be a lot more resistant uh, to cracks and scratches not scratches but more cracks or shatter in the event you drop the phone again that's no scientific way to actually test this out so we i won't be doing that but i do want to see how well the display holds up in general at least against uh, you know scratches and stuff like that with everyday use so that should be interesting now, the third major improvement, of course, is the processor. The iPhone 12 Pro uses the new A14 Bionic SoC, and this is Apple's first 5 nanometer SoC, and according to Apple, the industry's first as well. It's supposed to offer more performance than last year's A13 Bionic. Now, not that the A13 Bionic has slowed down by any means even today, but the new one is said to be a lot more powerful, and of course, a lot more power efficient as well due to the smaller fabrication process. So, all good things all around. However, Apple has changed the uh, ISP or the image signal processor and due to that, the iPhone 12 Pro can shoot Dolby Vision HDR video, which is something pretty exciting and interesting and it's definitely something 
and eager to test out. So that is the SOC. Now I would be remiss if, if I didn't mention that the iPhone 12 Pro also supports 5G. That is again another new feature of this A14 Bionic. There is a 5G modem inside and the Indian models as well get it. Now one small difference is that uh, the Indian models will not support the millimeter wave 5G. Uh, that's only for the US models uh, as far as I'm aware for now. Uh, but it does support all the other 5G bands including sub 6. Again, not that 5G is going to be of great importance or, uh, you know, of concern in India anytime soon. But it's nice to know that your brand new iPhone will support it when 5G does roll out in India eventually. This is a LiDAR sensor and this is essentially used to calculate depth. So it's going to be useful for AR applications, but also according to Apple, it should help you focus much or help the phone focus a lot better on objects in low light and it, this having the sensor also enables you to shoot portrait shots in low light as well so that should be interesting to test as well but the other three sensors are pretty similar to what we get on the iphone 11 pro they're still 12 megapixel sensors uh, you get a wide you get an ultra wide and you get a telephoto with 2x optical zoom the main camera has improved slightly it has now a wider 1.6 aperture which again once again should benefit uh, in low light photography the front true depth camera is still 12 megapixels and uh, it has it gets a bunch of useful features as well now, the iphone 12 pro also has smart hdr3 uh, which should be able to give you better hdr photos especially when you're shooting against the light now this this is all great but the things that i'm really most excited about are the new features that have been added to not just the main camera but all the cameras including the front true depth camera so that is you now get night mode and deep fusion which work across all cameras so no matter which lens or sensor you're using you it is going to support night mode and it's also going to support deep fusion which is a big deal in my opinion uh, another big thing is that the iphone 12 pro can also shoot hdr dolby vision video uh, at 4k at 60 fps which again is very impressive uh, we saw a few android phones uh, this year do hdr video the one that comes to mind is of course the oneplus 8 pro but again if i'm not mistaken it was limited to 1080p but uh, this one can shoot dolby vision video and at 4k and 60 fps and uh, finally uh, one feature which is only coming to the 12 pro series this year is called apple pro raw so this is basically a new raw format that apple has developed and essentially it gives you it's supposed to give you all the flexibility of a raw format file along with Apple post-processing as well, such as Smart HDR and stuff. So you will still get that, uh, you know, uh, well-processed image, but you'll also get a lot of flexibility uh, when it comes to tweaking or editing your photo. Let's take a quick look at Apple's new MagSafe charger. Now, it's a little white disc which snaps onto the back of the iPhone 12 Pro, and this will also attach itself to the phone if you have one of these MagSafe cases. Now the MagSafe charger supports up to 15 watts wireless charging if you use Apple's 20 watt adapter. So that's been it for my quick unboxing and a first look at the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, I will be testing this out over the week. So do let me know in the comments what you want to see. Is there anything specific you want me to test? Any specific comparisons you want me to do with any other smartphones? Uh, do sound out in the comments below and I will definitely try my best and oblige. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the full review of the 12 Pro coming up soon. And as always, for all things tech, log on to Gadgets360.com.